First impressions. Aye, first impressions. Very important, very strong. I live in Nottingham, and I'm chairman of a Tenants and Residents Association on a huge redeveloped council house estate. And we've got 30,000 people, which is three times the size of Maryport. And yet this place has got something, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure of a word to describe it. It's plain and simple, 300 miles from London, and 10 years away from sophistication and yet there's a strength a warmth and an ease in people it's got a human quality <laughs> With just uh, 11,000 people perched on at the mouth of a very tiny little river going into the Solway Firth. There's really not a lot going for us. Ted Short, a couple of years ago, when he was elevated to the House of Lords, singled us out as a town that was dying. I know exactly what he means. The first kicks started about 1800, when Napoleon's uh, anti-British decrees wiped out our light industries, glass, paper, and so on, and left us completely dependent on coal. But of course, we perched on the very edge of the Cumberland coal field, and uh, with the w there was never a lot going for us. There were bad days right up until the war finished, and then, strangely enough, it didn't get any better. So uh, it, it's been a depressed area for all the years that I've known it, anyway. Someone here was saying that if there'd been an Olympics for unemployment in the 30s, Jarrow would have got the gold and Mary bought the silver. Yes, I would agree, definitely. As a matter of fact, I, I think we, we're very close on to Jarrow. We may have got the gold on a, on a disputed decision. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was very bad indeed. I know that when we got here first, um, everybody, Asked, asked us, why Maryport? Why, why are you making a film about Maryport? As though they were, you know, on the defensive. Yes, well, you see, we seem to have been knocked back so much, you know. We, it, any situation, many situations that have developed in this area, you know, we always find we seem to be at the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> 